Oh, hello there. Welcome back to Crafters TV. Uh, thank you for joining us for what is going to be a splendid uh, craft along. We are, of course, looking at the Outline Die Collection over the next couple of hours. We're all going to make, including myself, uh, a gorgeous creation. Uh, and as well, I mean, I'm not going to be able to show you, showing you how to do that. Of course not. Uh, the ever lovely Michelle is back in the building with us. How are you, Michelle? Uh, I'm very well, thank you. I'm fabulous to be back. It feels like so long since how I was has it been? Um, I don't know. Michelle. Michelle. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But I know that I had more than like Elf two on a days. Elf on the shelf. <laughs> hey. Michelle. Elf on the shelf. Michelle. Oh, Michelle from the on the show. Anyway, yeah, I what are we going to be making? Really into the festive spirit. I love it. Yeah. I am really utterly jealous. I, I want one of those t-shirts. <laughs> Looks truly fabulous. Thank you very what much. What are we going to be making today, then, Michelle? So we are going to be making this today. Ooh. So, <laughs> so this is what we're going to be making with those beautiful outlined eyes. Um, I just thought we'd do them. We'd use them in a, a little bit of a different way as to just. Um, because there's the concept that they're made for, and then we like to have a bit of a play and, and you know, do something more with them. So this is what we're doing today. Mm, really, really excited. What are we going to need then, Michelle? So, I will let you know. So what you're going to need, um, so your Gemini outline dies. Um, I've used the Simple Sprigs, the Magnificent Butterflies, Blooming Botanical, and the Dainty Dragonflies. You're also going to need um, your Caring Thoughts 12 by 12 paper pad, the Caring Thoughts luxury card pad and the Caring Thoughts vellum pad. Um, you're going to need some acetate and then your Paisley Pearl 12 by 12 card pad. Um, you're going to need some white stamping card, um, a black ink pad. Um, you are also going to need some black card as well. And then what you're going to need as well is... Next slide, please. Um, so, <laughs> any sentiment stamp or die of your choice, um, some gems from your own stash, um, any Gemini machine, because these will go through your mini, um, your scissors, dotty tape pen, normal tape pen, some red liner tape, tacky glue, your guillotine, and obviously you will need your scoreboard as well. Amazing. Uh, well, you've got time to gather all of that still. Lots of people saying hello, Ben. He's watching Ben. I've just had the cookie pie. Oh, have you, uh, Johnny, do you, have you had a review? Johnny's saving his, Charlotte, have you had yours? Absolutely unreal. There was something different about it. Equally as fabulous, had a little bit of more sort of complex brown sugar flavours going, I think. Oh, it was delicious. <laughs> Ben's uh, cookie pie, Michelle's uh, other half, Ben, I sent the cookie pie for us. So, so nice. Um, I know she's only been here an hour. We've already had, uh, well, I'd say half of it's already gone. Um, Evelyn uh, is in from Colorado. Lynn saying hi as well, the lovely Lynn. Cindy Thompson says, good one from Minnesota. We've got 20 inches of snow here in Minnesota at the moment. Wowzers trousers. Uh, Betsy's in from Texas uh, as well. Uh, Rosalind uh, saying hi from Maryland. And Mary, Mary Rhino says hi as well from Maine. Uh, everyone's going to be crafting along. Now, if you don't have uh, these dies, don't worry, it's not too late. Uh, don't panic. Uh, we can furnish you with them and then you can take part in this craft along whenever you wish at your own leisure these are the dies that are in the collection really nice size for you love the look and feel and effect that they give you you've got pretty posy you've also got this one here which is your fabulous florals can't read my own handwriting on the back of these boards uh blooming botanicals are these ones you've got your simple sprigs this one here is your magnificent butterflies and you've got your dainty dragonflies. You will also get in there as well, 10 sheets of the black Centura Pearl as well, uh, which is excellent. Um, Christine Mahoney says, uh, good morning, yay, two days off. This card looks fabulous. It does indeed, doesn't it? I've got all my bits and bobs as well, so I'm gonna be crafting along today as well, which is quite exciting, Shell. Can't wait to see if I can, uh, if I can achieve it. It looks a little bit ambitious for me, I won't lie. It, no, it's, it's, it's one of those that looks more complicated than what it is. So once you've, you've broke it down and, and made it up, you'll be, you'll be fine, Joe. You'll be fabulous. OK, I shall have faith in myself. I think, <laughs> judging by the comments, everyone's pretty much good to go, if you are, Michelle. Yeah, so I'm, I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> so what we're going to do first is, so I'm going to bring a piece of our um, card in from our 12 by 12 uh, card pads. I'm using this one because it's a 300 GSM, so it's perfect 
um, to use as a card base. So I've got my scoreboard at the ready. Bring my guillotine Ooh, in. I ain't got my leg out. Hang on. And my leg's stuck. Oh, it won't. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Someone had glued it in, I think. Oh, no. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to cut this down to eight inches. So we're going to have a piece of card that's 12 inches by eight inches high. And then you're going to bring your piece of acetate in and we're going to cut this, this down to 11 inches. Oh no, this is a bit tricky to see this one, isn't it? It really is. So this is going to be 11 inches wide and then we're going to turn that and cut that to 8 inches high. Which um, is just a sort of fly's eyelash, is it? it? It just is literally a fly's eyelash, yes. Amazing. Uh, <laughs> so those are our two pieces for now. So we're just going to score these first. So you're going to take your piece of whatever colour you're using for your base and we're going to score it at one and a half inches and then two and a half. And then we're going to flip it all the way round. And we're going to score it again at one and a half inches and two and a half. And we're just going to bob that to the side. And then you're going to bring your piece of acetate oh, in. Oh, can't find it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to score this at one inch and two inch. Now, I've never scored acetate before. It can be a bit fiddly because it tends to want to move, so you just need to hold it firmly. One and what was it? One Michelle? and two. You might find it easier to score it a couple of times lighter rather than once hard, firmer. Flip it round and do exactly the same. So we're going to score it at one inch and two inches. Just scarring that carefully. Right. So that's our two base pieces for now. So what we're going to do is, I th what should we do? I think we'll tell you what we'll do next. We'll do the, the whole base bits first. So from our caring thoughts, I've got this piece of um, beautiful green pearlescent card. And then also I've picked a couple of pieces from um, the paper pad of the Caring Thoughts. Obviously you can use whichever paper pad you want, but this is what I've, um, I've picked. I think I might need another piece of card, Michelle. Well, have you gone a bit awry? Oh, I think so. I don't, oh, could I use the same piece of coloured card as I've got for my base for this part? Would that not work? Uh, no, yeah, you can use the same piece. Yeah? All right, I'll use the same piece. <laughs> because what we're going to do... Well, you can do, but if you're going, you're going to mat and layer it onto the back. So this piece of green is what's going to go on the back of my... So you're going to want a different colour. I need another piece I of card. I would get a different yeah, colour, would yeah. Would you mind furnishing me with another piece of card? I can. What colour? You can Ooh, either pick one brilliant. from there. Or this, okay. the, this one. Oh, shiny. I know. <laughs> let's go with... Oh, let's go with just one piece. Yeah, yeah, for now. All right, let's go with... Let's go with that one there. Thank you very much. Fabulous. Thank you. Right, so... <laughs> what we're going to do now is we're going to cut this. So, my main piece is eight inch, inches high. So, I'm going to come down one-eighth of an inch. So, it's going to be seven... Um, seven and seven-eighths. So, just getting that... And then you're going to cut, so you're going to cut one piece at, so my middle piece is seven inches wide, so we're going to just go shorter. So we're going to go to six and seven eighths of an inch. And then if I bring that in, you can see that that will sit just in there, lovely. And then for my two side pieces, we're going to cut um, another couple of pieces. So they're one and a half inches wide. So they're one and four eighths, so we're going to go to one and three eighths with this. With the waist piece, so yeah. with that piece. So yes, yeah, so from the same piece that it yeah. will be seven and seven eighths high. 
Yeah. We're going to cut two more pieces, and these are going to be one and three eighths. So I'm just getting that nice and straight. It's always strange when you and Ben craft along with me because it's so quiet. It's distracting, is it? <laughs> it is. Is it like when the kids are at home and they go quiet? Yes. You think, what is going on? <laughs> it is when, they, when my kids go quiet, you know that something's definitely going on. Mm. So if you feel that that's a little bit too wide, just take it back into your guillotine and just what was take the width a like sliver. Going for them, Michelle? So one and three eighths. Because, um, so my piece on my card is one and a half inches wide, so that's one and four eighths, isn't it? So you can either go, I'm just Sorry, taking yeah. a sliver off, but you can go and take a full quarter of an inch off. It's entirely up to you. Um, so that's our main pieces for there. So then what we're going to do is we're going to bring a piece of our patterned paper in. So our main piece of card was eight inches I. I can't say my H's today. Uh, eight inches high. Let's just, why don't we just do the show <laughs> without any H's then in that case? We, we can both do it. No H's. Let's just go for a no H right. kind of day. So, <laughs> so like say no words with a H in or every word that no, has it in just we just don't, it. just don't say the H. So I, 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 I love you, all right. <laughs> That'd be great. Right, so... Oh, that might take more thinking that I'm, I'm capable of doing to try and miss letters out. So anyway, <laughs> our patterned piece of paper. So my main card is eight. My mat is seven and seven eighths. So this is going to be seven and six eighths high. I. Seven and six. Seven and six eighths high. And then. So just under the eight. Yes. So, so we're seven inches wide and we're going to go down another two. So we're going to put that there. What we're going to do is we're just going to bring, bring it in. And if you feel that, oh, I think I've gone a bit short on mine, look, but it doesn't matter. So if you feel that your border round is exactly what you want, then fab, go for it. Um, if not, either cut a little bit more off, uh, entirely up to you. So again, so these pieces that we've cut here are one and three eighths. So this is going to be one and two eighths or one and a quarter, whichever you find easier to say. So I've got my middle piece, my back panel then, Michelle. Yeah. And that is, I've cut that down lengthwise, so I need to cut that widthwise, do I? You do, you do. And I need to cut that to... So six and seven eighths. Six and seven eight. Awesome. So just bring it in and just hold it against it. And if you're happy with the amount of width of your border. I mean, we've got some very questionable mats and layers going on over here today, <laughs> but we're not going to worry about that. <laughs> so again, let's cut this one. So we're cutting it again at one and a half. No, we're not. We're cutting it at one and two because the main one was one and a half. So again, just bring it in, hold it against it. And as you can see at the sides, I wanted a really thin border. I mean, as you can see, I've cut mine too short at the top, but it doesn't matter because I actually quite like that effect. Um, so yeah, so that's what we've got for now. So if you bring this in, you're going to, you're going to, just lay that on to make sure you're happy with it. So that is going to be there. Have I cut mine too wide? No, I haven't. That's just perfect. So there. So that's, I'm happy with that. And then these two, uh, we're not going to glue anything down yet. We're just making sure we we're happy with the sizes of our mats and layers that we've got. So that's, that's what we've got at the front. And then obviously we've got our piece of acetate. I'm just on that last. Are you getting well, there, I think Joe? apology, yeah. I think my mats and layers were a little different. So I think 
I've got slightly bigger mats and layers, but I think I'm there. That's quite all right. I've gone for quite a thin mat and layer on mine, but um, normally it's a quarter of an inch of mat and layer. That's sort of what you tend to see more than anything, which I think if you look at the top of mine, I do have that quarter of an inch, but at the sides, it's like one eighth of an inch. There we are. Looking good. So you all happy with your mats and layers? Yeah, I think so. Fabulous. So should we get those? Oh, I like your paper choice, Joe. Is that all right? Do you like yeah, it? Yeah, I do. So should we, we'll get these glued down then. Okie doke. So entirely up to you if you want to use your tape pen or your tacky glue. Um, would it be tacky because it's coated? I would go for yeah. tacky glue because it's coated, yeah. I mean, I find that your collal will stick it down, but I think sometimes I found, especially in a warmer room, that the collal glue will then peel up. Um, especially, it's just purely because of the coating. So just move those to the side. So I'm going in for my tape pen because it's a new one <laughs> and it's running lovely. So I always find it's, I think when you get to the end of a tape pen is when you tend to have a little bit more trouble with it. And as we know, everyone likes to leave me the ends of tape pens. <laughs> I'm going to be brave, I'm going to be brave today and go for the tape pen, you know. Are you going to do it? I feel like I might regret it, but we're going to go for it. No, because if you don't press it down as you're putting it on there, you can easily just pull it back up gently. And readjust. So there we go. That's my one side. So I'm taking I'm taking my time this time because I don't I want it all to go smooth. And there's no rush. But I do love these um, these twelve by twelve card pads that we've got that are three hundred GSM because they're perfect for making your card bases. I I'm have still quickly wonky. decided to go back to the tacky glue. Oh, have you? <laughs> I've got a bit of a blockage though, Michelle. Oh, no. Yeah, bunged up. Oh, dear. You, fifth time lucky. This is about the fifth time I've put that on and still got it wrong. Oh, dear. I mean, I'm... There we go. Oh, where's my... There we go. Oh, I think I might have to get another tacky glue off you, Michelle. Have you got... I mean, I'm properly bunged up. You got another one? I have. There you go, try Thanks. that one. Give me that. I'll give Thank you the broken you one back. Maybe. Thanks. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get this glued on. Is that one any better? Oh, yeah. With lovely, Fabulous. a lovely heavy flow on that one. Oh. <laughs> lovely. Words fail me, Joe. <laughs> oh. There we go. My problem I seem to tend to have with the glue is just not getting the glue far enough into the corners so they end up with a, like, a loose corner. Okay, so that. if you're using wet glue and you find that that happens, um, just go, either get a little piece of card and use it as a glue spreader. Right. Spread it thinly towards the edge. Um, and then you will find that once you press it down, your edges are, are stuck. But what I, what I do, if I'm stuck down and I find that a corner's coming up, I'll do exactly the same. So I will, let me get a piece of scrap. Oh, I just had, oh, there it is. So what I'll do, so if I've got a corner that's coming up, yeah. I'll get a tiny little piece of, card and I will just get my tacky glue and I will put it on the end and I will just flatten it down and then I will lift that either with my finger or my um, pokey tool and I will just press it on there like that and then once you bring it up and press it down it's glued and you've all you've done is wasted just a tiny little piece of card oh great tip 
I do have I have lots of tips for how if things go wrong right how to rectify you're it. You're a fixer are you? Yeah I think we but we all do that we all go wrong sometimes and um, it's nice to know that other people do exactly the same too. So all I'm doing now is I'm just scarring and burnishing my um, lines so that second scar line there is going to be folded in and then that one folded out and then that is the base for the back amazing well, i've just got my last um oh, i've just wiped glue on my scoreboard <laughs> <laughs> are you in a bit of a mess a bit messy today yeah oh now i've got the wrong glue um yeah a little bit on the messy side today i'm nearly done though just one second uh, and we'll be done <laughs> got a really love i'm not, definitely not going bald am i <laughs> Honestly. You've got a lovely head of hair. Two greys, thank you for that, Charlotte. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you. Is there no greys in there? Oh, there is a few, yeah. And my back's a bit hairy as well, but won't worry about that. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, we are... I think we're as stuck down as we're going to be, Michelle. Fabulous. There you go. And I've just got to fold it, have I? Yeah. That. So that's it. So that one fold all the way over and give it a good burnish and then fold this, that one back. So fold it back on itself. There we go. Excellent. And then that one. I'm not very speedy today, am I? Usually I'm a bit, <laughs> usually I'm quite, you know, I'm on it with the pace, but today, not so much. Well, it's that cookie pie. You've had your it hair is, and now you've I mean, got, slowly I mean, coming down. <laughs> I'm in a bit of a sugar slouch. There we are. Beautiful. Perfect. Fabulous. Right, let's see how everyone's getting on. So, uh, who we got here? Um, Rebecca says, I'm loving the colour combinations. Hey, my Prince Joe, you're crafting along. I'm so thrilled and happy, says uh, Shadaya. Um, remember, Joe, Nana Jan says, less is more. Make sure you put it thinly at the edges. That's what she does say. Uh, Mary says it's pretty. Uh, Karen says beautiful paper Michelle is using as well. Uh, right, let's give you an opportunity to get yourselves caught up then. Uh, let me just give you a heads up of some of the stuff uh, that's on the show that I think you might want to go for. We've got a 26 pen bundle of our aqua pens available for you. Uh, you've got three different collections and you've got the floral, you've also got the primary and the nature in there as well. Uh, so definitely grab those, nice little saving for you. Uh, we've got a sparkle pen, 15 pen collection. Sparkle pens so gorgeous, aren't they? Just so incredibly uh, shiny, these. 49.99, 64.99 gets you all of those, which is excellent. Now, we also have the water reactive ink pads for you uh, on the show. We've got the warm collection. Not many of these uh, to go around, less than 50 of these, uh, actually. And this one is the warm. So you've got Bordeaux Honey Pot, Straw Bale, Plum Jam, Fuchsia, and the Pale Fig. Uh, there is another collection as well, the cool collection. Green Topaz, Frosty Jade, Midnight, Baby Blue, Spring Meadow, and also the Parakeet in there as well. Right, if you want to go for the outline dies, remember they are available to you on the show again. Uh, so it means that you can grab these today. Uh, come back and watch this back anytime uh, you like. Some really gorgeous ones in here as well. So you've got the Pretty Posies. You've also got the Fabulous Florals. You've got your Blooming Botanicals. Simple Sprigs as well as Magnificent Butterflies, and also in here as well, the Dainty Dragonflies for you. So make sure uh, you grab a hold of those. You will get the Centura, Centura Pearl black cardstock included with it in there as well, uh, 10 sheets for you, which is fantastic. Right, I mean, uh, we are all good. I am a bit wonky, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> we just won't get too close on it. That's all right. Yeah. I'm sure it'll be fabulous. Okie doke then, Michelle, what's next? Right, so what we're going to do next is we are going to, we're going to create our little bridge piece that's going to go across the bottom. So we're just going to move our um, card base for now and we're going to bring our guillotine back in. So as it's folded up like this, it's going to measure across. So you've got the seven in the middle and these are one and a half each. So you've got seven... Eight, nine, ten. So we're going to cut this one ten wide. And it's the same cards that we made the base out so, of. Yeah, so get the same. So this will be the piece that you've cut off. So use this piece. Yes. So that's going to be ten inches wide. 
and it's going to be two inches deep. And then again, bring in some of the, the green cards. So this it's green that I've used that I'm matted and layered with. So we're going to cut this uh, 10 inches wide. And this is going to be one and three quarters, or one and six eighths. So as you can see, and that one will layer over there. And I've got a bit of a deeper, so it's the same length that way, but a bit of a deeper um, border, <laughs> I can't think of the word. And then bring in another piece, so different to the ones that you've done your card in. So bring a different pattern paper in, and this one is going to be, so we're two, one and three cuts, so one and a half. So we're going to cut this one to one and a half deep. And again, ten inches wide. And then, so I'm just looking at, in, in all my bits, I'm looking for my next piece. So we, are we on that? I think so. Yeah. So we've got those. So if I just hold those like that, you can see how that goes all the way across like that. So I'll just put that there for now. And then we're going to cut another piece. So I'm going to bring um, another piece. Oh, do I have enough there? Oh, I do have enough there. So this piece is going to go on the front of the acetate, so it's just going to be as wide as the bit that comes out. So this is just going to be, um, so that will be seven inches wide, so this is going to be just a little bit shorter. So we're going to go six and six eighths. And then we're going to cut this at one and a half. And then bringing in the same pattern paper that you used on the other border. Um, so that, that piece is one and a half, so this one is now going to be one and a quarter, or one and two eighths, whichever you find easier to use. One and a, by what width, sorry, Michelle? So we have got, um, I'll just measure it. So it's one and a quarter, or one and two eighths, by six and six eighths wide. So six and six eighths. Yep. By one and a quarter. Yes. <laughs> so there you go. So on that one. It's 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 eerie. I said it to Ben last last week when he crafted along with me. It's just so strange. So I'm just gonna move that to the side for now. And we're just going to um, mat and layer these, these pieces up. So we're just going to glue them together. So again, you can use your tape pen um, or your tacky glue. <laughs> Maybe don't throw it everywhere like Joe did. <laughs> we'll see. So just sticking that on there. Oh, I've gone a bit wonky. But you see, this is why I love our tape pens, because you can pull it back off until you've given it a really firm burnish down. It does pull back off um, for you to readjust. So just gluing this one on. And again, this is going to go right to the end. There we go. And then this piece. And again, right to the end. So there we go, we've got those two. But we're not going to glue those on yet. Um, we're going to wait until we've got all our bits and bobs together before we do. So I'm just going to put those to the side for now. And... Have you caught up? So I need to glue those two it? together? Yes, yeah, so just mat and layer your three big pieces together and then your two smaller pieces. Put a bit of tape pen on there, just save some time. Okay. 
No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> All eyes on you, Joe. Just how I like it. <laughs> well, I didn't like to say, but... <laughs> <laughs> there we are. We just won't worry about that. We've got a bit wonky. What we'll do is we'll just cut that little bit off the end. <laughs> There we go. Perfect. 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 I find that this is like cockling a bit, this bit. It's going a bit... You've probably, probably put too uh, much glue you, on. Yeah, too much wet glue. Yeah. There you do go. have to be quite careful with it. Okie doke. Right, right. you got all your bits together. I should, think so. Uh, should we break there or shall we carry on? Yeah, Okey we'll take doke. a quick pause there then. Give you all a chance to catch up so any questions you've got uh, then uh, get them into me uh, I'm late is this called a bridge card I'm not sure Michelle is this called a bridge card um it's sort of I mean if you left it if you left it as that that is um, a bridge card but what we're going to do is we're going to put an acetate piece on the front as well um, and normally you would be able to fold it flat but with the acetate you can't fold it flat so much so it will just stay um, up like that so if I bring this one in to show you as you can see, it's got the acetate. Amazing, that's what we're working there. towards. There right, let's give you a moment then to catch up while she do that. Share with you all the details of Club Inspire. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new Express express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Quiet. Oh, the neighbors. I'm all out of Zoom. I'm so lost without you. I'm not, I'm not singing, I'm not singing. Lisa, if you email in, don't send a picture of your air fryer. Make sure it's something creative. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on catch-up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. 
enjoy it. There's not a dry eye in the studio here. <laughs> Debbie's welling up. I'm welling up. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV. Create every day. Absolutely, we do create every single day, none more so than when we have got a fabulous craft along, uh, which is what we are preparing today. I'm just, just stealing product out of packaging over here, <laughs> uh, ready to use. Right, uh, from the comments, seems that everyone is pretty much uh, caught up and good to go and is in the game, Michelle. So I think we are good to press on with the next step, if you are. Fab. Perfect. So, right, what we're going to do next is we're going to bring our black card in and then our dies. Um, so, I'm using all four of these. So, I've got the um, Simple Sprigs, the Blooming Botanicals, Dainty Dragonflies and Magnificent Butterflies. Um, you can use, um, obviously, whichever ones you want to use. Um, or, like me, you know, let's just use them all. Why not? Um, so, Blooming Botanicals is the ones that we're going to use first. So we're going to get these out. We're going to use some black card with these. And I'm looking for my scissors. What have I done? Ah, oh, there they are. So I'm just going to cut this down because I'm going to put them on my um, junior plates, which is the ones I've got next to me. And, but again, these will go into your, even your mini. So um, you can use any of your um, machines that you've got for these. So I'm just going to bring my plates in. And then we're going to run these through a couple of times. So you're going to need, um, because the, the, the way of that I've got them in the card, you need a couple of layers of each to make them um, stand up straight and secure without flopping over. We don't want dying flowers, we want fresh flowers. We do indeed. Don't want floppy flowers. <laughs> no. So we're going to run these through a couple of times. Oh, I'm making a lot of mess. <laughs> it's all right. It shows you're having fun if you're making a lot of mess. Well, that's what my children tell me. I don't quite believe them. Although my, uh, my daughter's been baking and cooking. She made... Oh, Ooh, I saw. Was it meat pies? Yeah, she made some steak pies. Oh, and she delish. literally made everything from scratch. And they was just so good. Mm. She definitely takes after her dad and not me. Are you not much of a cook, Michelle? I'm not. My food is the opposite of edible. Right, inedible. <laughs> yeah. But like even further away from inedible than that. Uh, <laughs> I'm not. It's a good oh. job that the kids have learnt to cook for themselves. Um, did you say two of each of the flowers? Um, or are we going to go for more? Yes. Yeah, so, um, you need at least two of each. Okay, I'll do another one as well, just in case I, I make a mistake. <laughs> I'm learning, you see, I'm learning. You're doing great. So let's run these through again. So again, because I'm putting more than one die on at once, I am taping them because I don't want... Um, them to go over each other and damage the blade. That's not what we want. So as you can see already, just, just like that, they're so, they're so pretty. I absolutely just adore these outlined eyes. Um, see, normally I, I watercolour with these, but I thought we'd, um, thought we'd use them a little bit different this time. So let's get that tape off. And poke these out. So I've got two of each. See, and again, so depending on which flowers you're going to have as like your little display, um, obviously depends on how many of these you're going to cut out. But because they're going to be stood up, and they're going to be stood up from this piece here, so you're going to want to at least layer them up twice um, just to make sure that they stay stood, stay um, nice and straight and secure so oh, let me get all my bits out oh we've got some poking out to do which is pleasing me no end <laughs> i don't mind the poking out yeah i don't i it's um it's weird it's one of the bits that i really enjoy the um getting the bits out 
So right. we've got my these. bits are out. Your bits are out. Fabulous. <laughs> so I'm I'm going to cut another one out. Uh, so you're going to do four of each, yeah? So what I'm going to do is when I when I put them together, I'm going to layer them together. So those two are going to layer together to make one. Right. Okay. So that's one flower. Those two are going to layer together to make another flower. And I think I'm going to run this through again. So I want two more of these. So let's just cut some more card down. So let's run this back through. And again, you can, um, you can have as many as you want in your little display. So if I bring this in again, um, you can see I've got four of the large flowers at the back. Um, and so each one of those flowers has been made by two, um, by two of the pieces of card. It's just enabling them to stay um, strong in that wind because it's windy in that uh, flower garden, right? Right. Okay. It's a windy flower <laughs> it's garden. A windy flower garden. So, and then just one more. But again, it's entirely up to you which ones you cut more out of. And what you want in yours. Just get my bits out. <laughs> any questions that you've got at any point, uh, do let me know. Lida says, I love what you're wearing. Uh, Mary, Ryan, I was loving the project. Uh, Pan says, lovely to get the presenters crafting too. I don't get them yes. doing a proper job, as Debbie Robinson said the other day. Uh, Cassie says, uh, she loves my sweater. Thank you for that. Uh, and uh, and loving the flowers as well. I'll tell you what, uh, pre-apologies to Jake. He's going to have me up to the show, I think. <laughs> Are you making a mess? Oh, such a mess. Honestly, there's bits everywhere back here. <laughs> it can't be as bad as how Debbie leaves it. Oh. Although it did make me laugh um, the other week when Debbie said she was going to clear up after herself. Uh, and... Poor John came in and was sweeping up. <laughs> <laughs> I think Ben put it on something on Instagram yesterday yeah. along the same lines. Right, so there's my flowers. I think my flowers are done then. Yeah, so this is what we should have. So I'm um, two of each. So I've got two which will make that one uh, flower, two of those to make that one flower, and I've got two of those. So that's what we've got. And this is where we're going to bring it in our acetate. So, whichever colours of acetate you've decided to go with. Vellum or acetate? Vellum. Vellum. Excellent. Sorry. Sorry, I thought I needed more acetate. No, no, that's I all right. Like, oh, dear. <laughs> I always get them too confused. I don't know why. Um, so, yeah, so I've got some vellum from my Caring Thoughts. So, I'm making a right mess here as well. So, my Caring Thoughts, I've just picked um, a few of the pieces. Um, I've gone for different colours. Um, out of there, so pick whichever ones you are wanting. I just had to have an emergency swig of tea, Michelle. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> Whew, calm myself down a bit. <laughs> so what we're going to do is bring one of your flowers in, make sure you've got all your little bits poked out, and we're going to use some dotty, um, a dotty tape pen, and we're just going to glue the back, and then we're going to stick it onto the vellum. But we're not sticking the um, stem, just the flower bit. Just the flower. Just the flower. So when you're doing... How do I know what's the... Oh, I know. I've got to work it out. Okay. So when you're doing this, just carefully. Make sure you get glue on all the bits. But again, we don't want the stem on there. And then, so I'm going to bring in... I'm going to bring in my orange to start with. So I'm just going to stick it right on the edge there. Because we're going to, we're going to cut round it which is why we've used our dotty. We don't want to see none of that glue. Excellent. So this is what we've got now. And this is where we're just going to um, fussy cut round it. So we've got that vellum as our um, petals. So this is where everyone goes quiet and concentrates because we're all going to be fussy cutting. Oh, I nearly cut my end off. Just missed it. <laughs> the end of my flower, the stem. <laughs> Yes, so everyone be careful. Don't cut your, your hand or your ends of your flower off. So the trick apparently is to move the paper 
Um, but because I'm left-handed, so if I was right-handed, I could see where I was going that way. But because I'm left-handed, it's just I can't see where I'm going. So I just I move everything to make sure that <laughs> I get it cut properly. They should do left-handed everything. Left-handed dies, left-handed paper. Yeah, I know that doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> Sorry, you've lost me, Michelle. That's quite all right. You, you, you started fussy cutting and you were gone. You should That's see the it. look of concentration on your face. There's actually a left-handed day, isn't there? Is there? Yeah. So there we go. That's my first one. And Do you use left-handed scissors? No, I don't. I use ours. I w I'd rather use ours than a pair of... 13th of oh. August. No, I'd rather use our scissors than left-handed because our scissors are just brilliant. Um, and I just prefer them. I don't think... I've, I've come across a pair of scissors that is as good as ours, so... I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah? I mean, it could be better. Well, the thing is, what you've got to think is, it's a... a you, if you've got, I've got a little bit there that I could go back in and cut off, but because it's vellum and it's going to be behind some acetate anyway, you're absolutely not going to see it at all. So then we're going to go in with our dotty tape pen. So we're going to bring this one in. So we're going to bring the, the one the, in. The, another one of the same, yeah? If exactly the same. So it's going to layer behind it, but don't glue that piece. Again, with your dotty tape pen, glue that piece. Right. Because then you're not going to get any coming through onto your vellum but you will also need to on this one glue down your stem as well because we're going to glue and it the all stem. together yeah so we're just going to bring that in line it up and layer it up so there so now we've got our really sturdy and if you feel you if you feel like when you hold it you feel it's still not sturdy enough for you just cut another one out and glue it onto the back and then you've got um well an even sturdier flower so there we go so that's one so we're going to put that to the side and then we're going to bring this in and we're going to do the self and same thing but i'm going to bring in a different color so we're going to just dot a tape pen, just the, the petals, not the stem. There we go. We're going to do the same again on the next one, yeah? yeah? So we're going to do the same on the next one. Just going to stick it to that bottom piece there. And then go silent for five minutes <laughs> while we fussy cut it. So yes, so apparently left-handed people are supposed to be more intelligent as well. Are they? There is... Apparently. No one let my brain know that memo. Um, <laughs> I, I like to disagree with that There's some quite sinister one. ones as well, but I'm not going to go into it. Today. Is there really? Yeah. What, with regards to left-handed people? Yeah. Oh. I am left-handed, yes. Are you? I've never noticed that. Have you not? No. I can do most things with both oh, hands. Oh, yes, because when we was doing the birthday week and you were... <laughs> we were trying... You were trying to write people's names on the board here. Yeah. You were really struggling now, I remember. Well, I went bowling the other night. I do that right-handed. I can play tennis with both hands. Uh, I can paint as in, like, paint a wall. I mean, not that I do, but... Um, <laughs> I can do that with both hands as well. Yeah, I can do most things... With both hands. Mm. Ambidextrous, I believe they call it, don't they? Yeah. It's like those people you can see can write with both hands. Yeah, I am not far off. I reckon if with a bit of practice, I could probably write with my right hand. Yeah. I can barely write with my left. Oh, same. <laughs> but you do, apparently your handwriting is not as good if you're left-handed as if you're right-handed. Really? Which is why in schools back in the day, they um, would try and convince children to write right-handed. Yes, they did, I remember. 
I can barely write, but also the thing is now, because everything's touchscreen, not only can I barely write, I can barely type either. <laughs> but, oh, give me a, I'm a whiz with, with a, my thumb. Give me, give me a tablet, I'm away. Oh, it's, there was, um, I tried to log into an account on, on my phone the other day, and for some reason it absolutely just wasn't letting me in. So my husband, Ben, says to me, he says, give me your password. He says, and I'll, I'll, I'll do it for you. I says, I can't. It's my thumb, because it's yeah. a thumbprint. So I don't know any passwords oh, no. anymore. He did it for me, though. With, his, with your thumb, or is his thumb? No, I think he knew he could just guess at my passwords. Oh, I've made a bit of a boo-boo here. Have you? Hmm. What are you done? Charlotte's like, let me see. I know. <laughs> no, Charlotte. Let me look. <laughs> I have glued, applied glue to the wrong side of my flower. Now I've, my flower is stuck to my black cardstock. <laughs> I think we're just going to have to cut. Uh, are we going to cut? I'm just going to, I'm going to put it on anyway and we'll just hope for the best a little bit later. Well, is it the piece that's going behind? Yeah. So you're maybe not really going to see it. Hmm. <laughs> the concentration. Is it? Is it? Is it all right? Is it? No. Oh. <laughs> no. Maybe put that one behind the others. <laughs> Maybe we just have one flat with these Maybe. flowers. Maybe. Yeah. You don't have to have three. Three. Yeah. Oh, we might, I thought we were making two. <laughs> no. So, are you only on one? <laughs> So I've got. So we've got two of the. Oh, the two of those ones. Yeah. There you go. I've got two of those done. Right. No, nothing. Nothing to see there. All right. So and then just on. one of these other ones. And then oh, I've okay. just got one of these. So we're going I'd to do cut exactly. I've more of those ones. All right. Okay. So you're all right. So we're going to do the same again. We're going to bring in um, another piece of vellum of your choice, and we're going to tape the back, stick it down, and cut it out. And again, don't. Um, don't tape your stem down. You don't need to. So, we'll get this one cut out. And again, um, and it, again with your scissors, I mean, I'm using my bigger pair just purely because this is what I'm used to, but we do have... Um, yeah, I'm using the little precision yeah. ones. So for this, I'm not cutting all the way down so I don't know if you can see let me I don't want black cards to show up a piece of white do you so if you can see my vellum instead of going all the way in I'm just sort of cutting like in little bumps like that because I for one I thought that looked quite pretty anyway and for two this one can be quite fiddly so don't and and again it's fussy cutting um and a lot of people like to leave a little bit of a border. Some people like to cut all the way um, to up to um, either your stamped image or this is like a die cut image. But um, it's entirely up to you. We all like a different look. So, trying not to cut my tips of my petals off. Oh. Right, yeah, I think I'm... I think I'm all right with that. So mine's looking a little bit like a lollipop at the minute. Lollipop, 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 lollipop. <laughs> dum dum. <laughs> so there we go. That's my third one. And then again, I'm going to tape pen this one up and stick it onto the, the back. Apparently I'm heavy handed. So, lining this one up. So, if I find it easiest to line your base piece up first. So, just get that and then it just goes on lovely. It's a very chilled out one, this, isn't it? It is, isn't it? There we go. So, there we that, go. That, I found that one easier, I must say, than the first yeah. one. 
I actually did find that one easier. So that's my um, three flowers. So how are yours? Uh, my flowers, I think they're looking all right. I mean, one of them's very sticky, but we won't worry about that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, pretty much done. Oh, they look great, Joe. Thank you. Fabulous. So, shall we have a little break there? Yes, let's take a little pause there. Uh, I've got some buddy bags I need to share with you. Oh, and a paper handler as well. So let me grab these. Um, I had a bit of a problem last night, uh, Michelle. I mean, I thought I was going to have to call for your help in the night at one point. Oh, really? I, <laughs> I don't know what I've done. I think it must be my age. I went to move the quilt off me in the night of my leg <laughs> and something went clonk and my leg dropped. <laughs> and today, <laughs> my hip <laughs> is so sore that I could barely get my shoe no. on this morning. Like I could barely lift my leg up. I don't know what's happened. <laughs> Scotty's been down. <laughs> I'm only 35, I shouldn't be going through this sort of no. thing. It went boink. <laughs> right. Honestly, it was like, clonk. I was like, oh, I thought I'd broken my hip or something. <laughs> right, paper handler. <laughs> oh, there we are. Uh, <laughs> right, let's look at this first. This is absolutely excellent. Uh, these will stack up, um, or will line up, what I'd say, on your um, counter, which is brilliant. So when you do that on a shelf, Pop the handles down. If you do want to take it around and transport it, and you can lift the handles out. It will store, of course, your 12 by 12 papers as well, which is fantastic, because I know lots of you um, opt for those 12 by 12 sizes now. So if you're using that, it's brilliant. Wonderful maybe if you've got shelf somewhere with all your craft stuff on, and then you craft uh, in a separate space. It just really helps you to transport those around. If you want to go for those 6.99 or 8.99. Then we're going to have a look at some buddy bags. Right, let's have a look first at Kirsten, uh, which is this one here. Now, Kirsten, absolutely massive, Kirsten. Brilliant for storing all sorts of things in here. We've got a lot of stamps and dies in here, uh, which are perfect. All of our sentiments are stored in there. Also brilliant for storing your finished makes as well, Kirsten. They've all got that hook and loop, um, that hook and loop on the front of them there. They all store on their side, and they will all store into the lowest tote, which is fantastic. So if you've got that, brilliant. If you haven't, then absolutely do not worry. You can still use these. Uh, this next one here, this is Irene. Uh, now, Irene is brilliant because <laughs> Irene's got two settings. So if you've got, let's say, glues uh, with Irene, you can use uh, the, the top strap, which is that one there, which is brilliant. Oh. If you've only got little things, like the explosion powders that I've got here, then you can put Irene on the bottom strap there. So it's really fantastic. They've That's all got that, a hard case in there. Uh, and she's brilliant for embossing powders, um, also things uh, like um, your little explosion powders. Anything sort of in a small... Um, in a small pot like that is great. This one here is Monica. Uh, now Monica is great for uh, photo embossing folders, um, tape runners as well, work brilliant. I mean, we've got coffee in here at the moment, but if I just put a tape runner in the side of there, you'll see a tape runner fits in there beautifully. So you could store all your tape runners in there, no problem whatsoever. And then we've got a uh, Barbara, Barbara which is this one here. Now, Barbara's got two different slots, which is wonderful. So you can either put some different ink pads in there. We've got some re-inkers in here. It's completely up to you. It could be little loose embellishments that you want to store in there. A whole host of different things. I think that could be a little nail varnish bag as well. Maybe yes. if you wanted to store your nail varnishes in there in the bathroom Perfect. would be a great thing that you could use that for. Uh, you can use these all over the house. You really can. And then uh, this one here is Stephanie. Uh, now, Stephanie goes this way so uh, when you open Stephanie up she's a big girl Stephanie what you've got here uh, is these so it looks like it's the wrong way around but it isn't the idea is that you lift these uh, compartments out with uh, whatever you are storing in there which is brilliant I think it's brilliant if you've got maybe not full complement of ink pads so you've got some water resistant you've got a few quick dries a few pigments uh, your colouring ones you can have them all stored in their little individual sections which is wonderful so brilliant for that uh, but also um, yeah we'll store up to 28 Spectrum Noir ink pads in there, which is fantastic. Right. Let me just remind you also, I feel like I've done a workout in the show. Uh, let me <laughs> remind you also of the outline dies, uh, which are, of course, our craft along uh, today. They are available still for you right now here on the show. Uh, if you want to go for them, you can. In here, you get the pretty posies, but you also get the fabulous florals. This is your Blooming Botanicals. You've then got your simple sprigs, as well as your magnificent butterflies, and of course your dainty dragonflies, which is brilliant. So do grab a hold of those. They come along with the black centura pearl cardstock as well, which is fantastic. Right, I think if you're ready, everyone else is as well, Michelle. Yeah, absolutely. 
So we've got our three flowers. So we're going to put them to the side for now because then we're going to bring in our others. And I think we'll go for the butterflies this time. So very much like what we did before. So we're going to cut out... Yeah, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. I mean, I'm going to do dragonflies as well. Because I, I love these. And I was literally like, couldn't decide which ones I wanted to use. Um, I've, got, I've got a dirty die over here. Someone's oh. not been playing ball with the cleaning out of this one. That's no good. Who do we blame for that mm. one? <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> I think it was you. I don't no, think I, don't. I was here. Uh, who knows? Are we going for black card stock again? Yeah, so are we? black card stock again. And again, I'm going to tape these down. So we're going to cut out, um, I'm going to cut out two lots of these again. So I want two of each size. Um, if I don't end up using them on this project, yeah. I'll just put them into my, my, little, my little bits and bobs box. Um, and then they're already die cut ready for my next project. So don't feel like if you cut too many out, you're going to be wasting them because you're not. I think we've all got one of those boxes, haven't we? That's got all these little bits of um, stuff in that we've die cut out and haven't used. So. This midi is so fast. I know. I keep meaning to um, definitely get myself one of those. I use it all the time up here. In fact, um, when I'm prepping up here, that's what I go. So I, I'd like to, if it fits through that, then I'm going to use it because I just really enjoy using the midi. But I think also with our midi and our mini, um, it's do you, just... Do you ever feel like you spend more time looking for stuff when you yes. craft than actually crafting yourself? <laughs> yes, I do. I oh, absolutely where's the, where's do. Where's the poke tool gone? It's, probably, it's not in I your I literally hands, had it a it? second ago, didn't I? Because I was getting the last bit. I was getting the bits out of that die. Uh, I can't see it from here. You haven't put it away. Oh, here it is. Found it. Ah, oh, crap. It's down the side of my uh, glass mat. Yeah, it's. Um, we can all relate to you on that one, Joe. You put things down and they just magically disappear. So, not wasting any of my little bits of card because these are little. Getting all my little scraps and just sticking them on there. So, run that through. My machine. So, yes, yeah, so the mini and midi are absolutely perfect for um, these. It saves you plates. Um, I, I mean, the plates. Obviously, they're a consumable, but um, having a little mini or a midi is just brilliant because when you're running just either a sentiment through or just a little butterfly, um, bob it through your mini or your midi and you're just saving that little bit of wear and tear on your plates. But then saying that, um, I changed my plates last week or the week before for the first time in two years. Oh, wow. Um, so you can definitely get... Um, your money's worth, so to speak, out of them. Are you just throwing everything about? I find if you just, <laughs> I find if you just throw it at the counter, the bit seems to come out. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that's the the actual, you know, prescribed way of doing it. Well, I do that at home. I thought I best not do it on air. Well, I mean, it seems to work. <laughs> it does work brilliantly. My kids think I'm crazy when I'm doing it. They're like, why are you throwing your stuff about? <laughs> So, just poking all my last little bits out. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this, Michelle. <laughs> Are you really? <laughs> <laughs> don't know if that's what you meant to do, by the way. If anyone sees Leanne, don't tell her. Oh, if Leanne's watching, you'll have it. Absolutely. Is it two of each, we said? Uh, or three yeah. of each? I've just cut out two of each. Two of each. Brilliant. So, just getting rid of all my bits. So, I'm going to bring in my large butterfly. 
And for this one, because it's my butterfly and I want it to have lovely, beautiful wings, I've picked a piece of the patterned um, vellum. And I'm just going to just put him over the, the pattern and see where I think I'd like um, a bit of pattern behind his wings, but not too much fussy. <laughs> <laughs> that it doesn't it doesn't look right so so we're gonna dotty tape pen it like <laughs> have you just thrown them all away and given up or no no i'm good <laughs> i've got me i've got me uh, i've got me dragonflies oh cut out <laughs> so again so dotty tape pen on the back and we're going to do exactly what we did with the flowers i'm going to position this on there and so I'm not going to tape, I'm not going to tape down my, um, what are they? They're not antlers. Antennae? I Ooh. think I'm going to make the executive decision, so I'm just going to have a single species on mine. Right, yeah. Fab. Yeah. <laughs> In the garden where I, my card is set, there are no butterflies. Okay. There are only dragonflies. <laughs> just so everyone's aware at home. That's okay. You can have as much or as little in your garden as you like. Thank you. It can be just an ornamental garden with no species Could. in there at all. I used to have ornamental purple plums in my last house. Did you really? Mmm. Mmm. Seem a bit pointless, don't they? Ornamental fruit. Yeah. So it was just like... <laughs> ornamental. <laughs> it's just like little yeah. plums that you couldn't do anything with. Sorry, Charlotte? No, because I don't think they're very nice. I think you could eat them, I just don't think they're very nice, they're not very sweet. So they were real, you just couldn't eat them? Genuine plums. Um, <laughs> yeah, very small, ornamental ones. Mm, Purple. How strange. It does seem a bit like, well, what's the point of that, doesn't it? Mm. Well, I suppose they're just for or ornamental purposes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was a nightmare, because they'd all fall off and drop on the lawn and then go rotten. Oh. And the lawn go funny, so yeah. I mean, they weren't very ornamental once they'd fallen off the tree, to be fair. <laughs> no. A bit of a pain in the backside. <laughs> oh, gosh, this, it takes a lot of concentration, doesn't it, Michelle? It really does. I'm just only in the poking out stage as well. How are you? I mean, I've got my dragonflies have got very, very detailed wings. Um, they are lovely, though. It's just one of these things that just takes that little bit of um, time and concentration, but it's worth it in the end. That's where you're supposed to agree. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I like the poking out, so it's good. Yeah, that's, I enjoy that bit. So I find it very therapeutic. I do. I nice. like the really big dies with loads of um, detail in there. So you can spend ages just poking out. <laughs> Got to be a nicer way to say it than that. Weeding, apparently. Oh, yes, it is, yeah. So the reason I didn't stick my antenna down is because I'm just going to cut straight across there because there's no way um, that I am fussy cutting round those little antenna. That's just not happening. But you wouldn't see it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So nearly there. I just thought this, even though it's taking forever, <laughs> is a nice different way. It's another way that um, we don't think to use our vellum behind things like this. Yeah, I think lots of people are always looking for different ways to use their vellums, aren't they? Yeah, definitely. I'm going in with the uh, Michelle School of Thought and just having a little halo around, a little vellum halo around my dragonflies, I think. Yeah. Well, and, and like I said, there's no right or wrong. If you like that outline around your... Um, stuff then absolutely do it that way it looks just as nice so that's my one butterfly now I don't need to layer this up with the second one unless you do, in fact unless you want that um, look 
on your card, sort of like that. But I don't need to layer it up because it's not, it's not got a stem like my flower, so I don't need to um, layer it up to make it stronger because this is going to sit on the back of my card. So that's just that one fussy cut. I'm going to leave that one for like that for now. And then I'm going to bring these in. And I'm just going to, just with that one, I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm just going to tape the back of it and then stick it on. But because these wings are a bit smaller, I think doing it over there would be too fussy. So this has still got quite a bit of pattern on there but it's not too fussy, so it's going to look lovely on the back of my little butterfly. So this is, um, I think this is the most difficult bit with this card. Just the base and everything looks nice and complicated, but it isn't. And I think the hardest thing about this is um, fussy cutting without cutting your wings off. Oh, I don't want to set your wings off, whatever no. you do. Or your antennae and again I haven't glued them down because I'm just going to snip behind there and then you're not going to see it this one's actually easier to do than that big one <laughs> it's like deathly silent it's the same at home as well. Everyone is really uh, absolutely engrossed. Famous. Oh, that's good. Although when I watch people fussy cutting, it's just as interesting for me as watching people colouring in. Because they always seem to... Have you seen Craig fussy cut? Yeah, he's a whiz, isn't he? Ain't, is it? Yeah, he is. He um, definitely is. So there we go. So that one didn't even take half as long. So, so up to now we should have our flowers, a couple of our butterflies with the pattern behind them, and then we've got a few that we're leaving like that. So how are you doing, Joe? Yeah, I'm all right. I've got one more dragonfly that I'm just going to cut out. I'm going to leave a couple of nudie ones as well. Nudie ones. Yeah. Fabulous. But I've literally just got this last one to do. And then I am good to go. Just cut it off there. Yeah, the big ones are so much easier to cut out, aren't they? Yes. I mean, it literally just take a couple of seconds. So is that all of your animals done now? That's all my animals done for now. All right. I've just sort of made the executive decision that we just sort of go round the wings there as well. I'm not going to go... All the way in. Or not oh, going to go all the way in. Yeah, you know, I think that's fine. And then yeah. I also found out a little trick here. Just lift his tail up, there we go. Just... Oh, I nearly... Did you nearly cut it off? Yeah. <laughs> it's because I know Charlotte's watching me now. Oh, it's because the pressure's on when everyone's watching you, isn't it? <laughs> she said it's fine, she's not paying attention, so it's right. Um, right, there we go. And I've got a few there that are just normal as well. So is that about right? Yeah, that's about right. Woo, right. <laughs> Should we take a quick break? I think yeah, you might. I'm thinking you might need to tidy up. Yeah. Uh, let's just give you your opportunity to check up, uh, check up as well. No, catch up even. Uh, so whilst we do that, here's all the details <laughs> of Club Inspire. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today.
to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Quiet. Ah, oh, the neighbors. I'm all out of Zoom. I'm so lost without you. I'm not, I'm not singing, I'm not singing. Lisa, if you email in, don't send a picture of your air fryer. Make sure it's something creative. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at CraftersCompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us. You give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. Joy, there's not a dry eye in the studio here. <laughs> Debbie's welling up. I'm welling up. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV. Create every day. We do create every single day. Creating a huge mess is what I'm creating today. But we are getting there, Michelle, aren't we? We are indeed. Lots of people chatting away with us over on the socials. For instance, my husband writes right-handed but does everything else left-handed. My son is left-handed, but we believe that was front-mirroring us at the table when he was small. It became his dominant side. There we go. Uh, Lily says these dies are fabulous. I'm thinking you could do so much with them. Paper piecing, stained glass, so gorgeous. Yes. I've yet to see these. How have I missed them? Uh, Evelyn says I love my paper handlers. I use them for all my scrap paper, all my scoreboards, my ultimate and HD papers as well. Um, Rosalind says, Joe, I do have two full, uh, two bags full of nail polishes. There you are. Nice. Um, I could use them to store my glitters in as well, couldn't I? <laughs> um, Stephanie holds a whole heap of tape runners, says Catherine. Uh, says Rhonda, sorry, Catherine says, I love both my MIDI and my mini. I use them when I stealth craft and need to create without making noise and waking my family up. Um, stealth craft, I yeah. love that. <laughs> right, Rhonda says, would it, the fussy cutting work better with smaller scissors? You said not really, it just depends what you're used to. I use the small scissors and I must say, I kind of wish I'd use the slightly bigger ones because the medium ones are the ones that I usually use. Yeah, That's I must admit... That's why I was a bit slow, I think. No, yeah. no other reason. I've got the huge... Um, we've got a pair of scissors on our website. I think that our sewing ones, they're like a rose gold. They're really big. Um, I think they're a Sarah Signature one. Um, that's what I normally use for fussy cutting. Um, because you, your blade's so big, by the time you get to the end, you've like done half of a, a butterfly or something anyway. So I normally use... A huge pair of scissors, so I, I think it's just whatever you, whatever you are most more comfortable with, isn't it? with. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So, are we uh, are we moving on? I believe we're good to go. So, all I've got left to do with the dies now is I'm um, in black again. I'm just going to cut one set of each of these out. So, I'm going to bring in my um, plates again. I might do some sprigs then in that case. Just a few sprigs. Yeah. <laughs> So, the, and you'll be happy to know that none of these um, are being layered onto vellum, Joe. <laughs> Excellent. Unless you want it to. Oh, yeah, I'll go for that. <laughs> <laughs> no. I know how much you was enjoying that. Do you know what I am out of, though? Black cardstock. Can I have another piece, please, Michelle? You absolutely can. There you go. Thank you very much. Oh, I've got a bit of the tenacity oh. one. 
See, sabotage that was left. <laughs> sabotage. <laughs> it was just so, you know, you knew what I were giving you. <laughs> <laughs> so, and again, I'm taping these down because we don't want them to um, hutch over another one and damage your blade. I love this packet. These ones are just beautiful. The simple sprigs, absolutely adorable. And these are just, you can use these with all of our um, flower farming foam dyes, any of our flower dyes that you're making, um, making wreaths, um, use them in those, obviously changing the colours of them. Um, don't just feel one like, set of these, did you say, yep, Michelle? Yeah, just one set of these. So these are going to be like embellishments. But yeah, they was all just so lovely. I couldn't decide which one to use, so I thought, well, I'll use them all. Well, nearly them all, but... Definitely, definitely a more is more rather than a less is more. So let's just get those peeled off. As you can see, they pop out um, beautifully. <laughs> is that you again? <laughs> So let's just... Do you talk weave. to yourself when you craft? Yeah. I just said, oh, I can't find the... All the Couldn't time. find the piece of uh, carrier sheet. I couldn't find the carrier sheet. The kids have come to the, um, the conclusion that if I'm in the kitchen and I'm chatting away to myself, just not to answer, because they used to answer, and I were like, no, no, it's all right. Um, I'm talking to myself. So now I think that's their excuse for, like, never answering me. Right, because you're normally talking to yourself. Yeah. So when I'm Fair shouting, excuse. <laughs> well, yeah. but when I'm shouting, Alice, come here, I want you. She's like, oh, I didn't realise you were talking to me. I'm like, but I'm shouting your name. Surely that's a dead giveaway. But no, it's just an excuse now. There we go. So you can use your brush on these. We don't advocate you throwing them at the counter to get your bits out. <laughs> I mean, I'm, sh I'm flat side down only ever, Michelle, obviously. Yeah. Not cutting side down. No, that's how I do it. Or if I tap them, I tap I, them on yeah. the, the back side. I normally side. tap them, but they're just a little bit small, aren't they? Yeah. So just popping the rest of them out. Those dragonflies look like little people with wings. People with wings? Yeah. People. Yeah. That, one, sort of that one there looks like a lady with wings. That one just there. Is Where's that just her legs me? and her arms? Oh, she's, she doesn't need those. She's got wings. Oh. <laughs> well, she should not plan on landing anywhere anytime well, that, soon. Well, that's her legs. You know, like um, a mermaid. That's so a mermaid with wings. <laughs> yeah. A mermaid lady with wings. Glad we got that cleared up. <laughs> It's like one of those um, those ink splat things that they tell you to look at and see what you can see. You know, when you go to the psychiatrist or something. You know what I mean. What are they called, those? An ink splat. You know, it's like that picture. It's like an ink splat. And everyone who looks at it sees different things in it. Oh, I don't know. I've not seen it. Have you not seen those? No. And it's like, obviously, depending on what you see in it, you know, means that you're either psychopath or crazy or <laughs> normal <laughs> have you never seen them well that's a good term no <laughs> i haven't i mean i maybe i'm i think they're supposed to determine you as a person you know with whatever it is that you see in it oh i'd probably see celine dion in mine <laughs> and uh you know and bucks fizz maybe i don't know something like that that's good <laughs> it means you're normal yeah Totally well, normal. Joe Normal. Joe Normal, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think this is my last one. I am all weeded out, are you pleased to know? Fabulous. So I'll just move mine to the side and then get rid of my rubbish. 
I mean, I've got to pre-apologise to Jake because it looks like, <laughs> I mean, Jake, honestly, I'm <laughs> so sorry. It looks like there's been a, looks like someone's butchered a paper pad back here. There's stuff <laughs> everywhere. Right, so we've got all our little bits um, poked out now. And I think what we will do, are we, do you think we should have a break before we... Put it all together. Ooh. Yeah, I think just a little bit of a. Uh, it's called the rose, the ross, the ross. It's called the rose, rose <laughs> catch test. R rose catch test. Rose catch. Chat. Catch. <laughs> Something along those lines, anyway. Uh, and I don't know what I can see. I can see. I can't show it you on here. Oh, here we go. I can show you it there now. Ah, that's them. So it's about what you can see. Yeah, what you see in it. What you see in it, yeah. Uh, I see... I see two people, like, stood like this. There you go. I'm sure some psychologists out there will now <laughs> take that information. Um, a Rorschach test, that's what it's called. I'm glad to be watching this, says Beth. I wasn't too sure about these dyes, but we'll definitely be getting some of them now. Just wow. sort of price on the whole collection. May need to get all of them. Um... The plum tree I'm speaking about may be a ginkgo tree. They have fan-shaped leaves. I believe the female tree has fruit, which I watched some uh, Asian university students pick up from the ground. Uh, they told me they call it sil sliver plum and make a tea or tisane from the fresh plums. Oh. My city made the mistake of planting male and female trees, which later had to be cut down because the fruit stinks when it rots. It does oh. absolutely stink. You are right. Uh, right, I need to tell you about some other stuff on the show. Uh, the aqua pens that we've got on the show um these very very busy here great saving on those uh for you you've got the floral the nature and the primary in there uh so do grab those 44 14 or 57 50 for platinum members we also have the sparkle pens available for you on the show as well uh these are great deal here again you've got um five packs there so 15 pens uh, in that particular one we've got some water reactive ink pads on the show for you as well in this particular one, you'll get Bordeaux, Honeypot, Strawbale, Plum Jam, Fuchsia, and Pale Fig. Uh, we also have, as well, uh, a, another collection, which gives you Green Topaz, Frosty Jade, Midnight Baby Blue, Spring Meadow, and the Parakeet as well. Under £20, just over $30 for Platinum members on those. Remember, uh, spend £50 or dollars, save £10 or dollars, because it is uh, Craftmas, the last day, I'm afraid. So Craftmas 10 is the code you need to use at the checkout. If you use that code today, you can then use the code Craftmas Jan in January, and you'll get £10 or dollars off of a £50 or dollars, £50 or dollars spend in January as well. Both codes can be used multiple times, wink, wink. Ooh. So um, uh, make sure you are taking advantage of that, which is fantastic. I think then, uh, it seems like everyone's pretty much uh, caught up and good to go, Michelle, if you are. Fab. Brilliant. Right, so we've got all our little bits and bobs. We're just going to move them to the side, because then what we're going to do is we're going to bring our main card back in. So we have those um, two pieces there, our back piece and our acetate. Now, I never got round to scarring my acetate, so we're going to do that now. We well, scarred it, I didn't fold it. So, um, if you remember, we scarred at one inch and two inch at both sides. Um, so, we're just going to find, without my glasses on, our burnish line. And just... So, the inside piece um, is going to scar up. And then that side is going to scar out. So your outside is going to scar out. Does that make any sense? So it's actually scoring exactly the same way as the card, but the yes. opposite. Is that, yes, that makes sense? Yes, because it's going to sit on the top. So you've got a mountain fold and then a valley that's fold. That's it. Fold. So if, I don't know. You, oh, you can just see how that's in a an L shape. So that's how it's going so to sit on So kind of like that, sides. Michelle. Yeah? Yes, perfect. Excellent. So I always find it the easiest to fold it there in the middle and then go to the outsides. I just find it um, it can go a bit wonky when uh, it just wants to go where it wants to go, does acetate. It doesn't really want to go where you want it to go. Even though I've scarred it, that just helps me to burnish it. So there we go. So that, when done, is going to 
I'll just grab that side, sit on there. But we're not going to put that on for now. So again, so we're just going to put that to the side because we're going to decorate the back piece up first. So this is where I'm going to put my uh, butterfly there because I've got my floral all down this side. I thought I'm going to put a butterfly there, which is why I've also backed it with a bit of floral because I thought it just adds a little bit more to that piece there uh, that's a bit plain. So I'm just going to bring in my normal tape pen and I'm just going to tape up the middle because I want my wings just to sit. Because this isn't going to fold flat to post, I'm going to put my butterfly in there with the wings up because this would have to go into a box if you was going to send it to anyone. So just going to put that there. And then, so what I'm going to do is, because this is going to go across the bottom, just going to bring this one in and see where I want it to sit. So, because these are also going to go on here. So I'm just going to eyeball where I sort of want things. Because that's fussy at that side, I think I'm going to have these at this side. So this is about just having a bit of a play before you commit to where you want to put things. So that's how I think I'm going to put mine. So I'm going to glue this down. So again, I'm going to use my dotty tape pen. Well, one of mine's definitely got to go on the back, isn't it? Because I've got <laughs> one of mine pre-done, which is great. So that's made that job easy. Fab. So just dotty tape pen, and that's going to go about there. And because it's done in that black, even though it's against that pattern, it's still going to stand out lovely. So again, I'm just going to bring this piece in. I'm just going to hold it on there to make sure that I'm happy with where that is at the minute. And I am. I'm happy with that. So I've I'm got a bit of a glue bogey. I'm afraid I've used the wrong tape pen, Michelle. Oh, no. Never mind. Never It'll mind. It will. It'll be fine. So I'm going to bring my little lady. I'm telling she's a lady. She looks like a little lady but, uh, dragonfly. So she's definitely going to go about there. And I don't want her wings up, so I'm just going to glue her on flat. But again, this, this is where you have a play with what you want, which bits you want a bit raised, which you don't. Um, this is the fun bit. We've got everything cut out and now we're going to put everything together. So now I've got those on the back. I mean, you put more on if you want, but I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape this side and glue it to there. Are you happy with how the back of yours is? Joe. Yeah, happy's one word. <laughs> and we're going to glue it with a tape pen now, are we? The, the panel. Yeah. So just glue that. Yeah. So just the edge bit that's going to go on. And flatten your side out. And then just lay it on there. Nice and straight. Oh, it's upside down. Oh, I think mine is. It's mine. Do them leaves look upside down? Yeah, they're all pointing down, aren't they? Let me move that then. So what we'll do is we will stick it to... So I'm flattening mine out to the counter so I can stick this on nice and straight. And making sure it's level. Okay, I'm alright. So I'm, I'm OK with that. I'm fabulous. It doesn't look as awful now. I've got it together. That's it. And when you get a bit of acetate over the front, it's going to look, um, it's going to hide those little bits that you can see that other people won't see. So let can me I make my stems a bit shorter? Yeah, of course you can, absolutely. Right, so I'm going to put mine there, I think, and that one there. So, but yeah, so if you want to cut your stems and make them shorter, absolutely go for it it's your creation so that one's going to go there and then i think i'm going to so i'm going to put a little bit of glue there because i'm going to layer it but i'm just going to make sure i'm using my dotty and then i'm not going to see it through the acetate but then i'm just going to stick that to there and then on there 
and those two are layered up beautifully. And then, and because you've doubled this up, you can, um, you can put it on whichever side you want. So if you want it um, facing either or, you've got that option then. Oh, oh dear. Oh no, what's wrong? I nearly pulled the body off. Oh. <laughs> and then, so that one's going to go there. So I'm happy with that bit for now. So before I go any further, for the top piece, I'm going to cut a piece of acetate. So again, let's just measure this. So we've got the seven, so it's ten. So we're going to cut a piece of acetate, ten inches long. And I think we're going to cut it three quarters of an inch. Would you mind cutting me a piece as well, Michelle? I, I haven't got any will. more acetate over here. No, no problem. So, ten inches wide, because that's how wide it is when it's stood. And then we're going to cut it at three quarters of an inch. I mean, it doesn't have to be exact. I just don't want it too thick or too thin. In fact, I think I'm going to go for an inch. There you go. Cheers. So, where's my piece? Now, just try and remember where your piece of acetate's gone. Is mine still on there? Oh, it is. It still is still on there. <laughs> So what we're going to do, so we're going to do exactly the same with the top piece. So we're just going to put a bit of um, tape on either side and that's going to glue across the top. What sort of tape are you going to use here? So I'm, I'm going to use, uh, so you can either use your tape pen or you can use a bit of red liner tape. Um, it's entirely up to you. I know you can use your glue as well, um, your tacky glue, but I find that takes um, quite a while to... Oh. Dry. What you done? I managed to take okay. the. Can you not see it? <laughs> no, I managed to take the backing off the red liner tape whilst it was still on my hand. Oh. By accident. <laughs> Couldn't get the stuff off for weeks. Now I can't keep the and stuff that, on. Yeah. From one extreme to other. Absolutely. So because it's 10 inches wide, you don't need to worry about bending this way or that way to make sure it fits because it's going to go exactly to the edge of both sides so you know it's going to be nice and straight and firm when we're all glued up so mine just needs to go across a little bit more make sure it's right to the edge perfect it would help if i could see it so i can see what i'm doing there we go so that's that bit for now so what we're going to do we're just going to put that to the side because we're going to bring our acetate in and down these two strips here is where we're going to use our red liner tape. Down the outside edge, yeah? So down the outside edge is where we're going to put red liner tape. Uh, again, you can use your tape pen if you want. Um, I'm going to use this. Uh, for one, it's what I always use and find the easiest. It's very difficult to see in the studio lights, isn't it? It is. If, try put a bit of black card underneath. You might be able to see better. Oh, much better, yeah. Much better. So I'm using two. If you've got your 12 mil, you might feel you only want to use one piece. But yeah. The oh, have you put a long strip? Or, is that right? Yeah, that's what I've done. Yeah. Cool. Just one long strip? I've got quite a wide one. Yeah, just use one if you want. It's, um, it's entirely up to you. So what we're going to do is, so because this is 11 inches wide, um, and this piece of card at the bottom was 12 inches wide, because acetate doesn't come as wide as a 12 inch piece of card, um, we've had to cut it shorter. So what you're going to do is, this line here, you're going to make sure is exactly in line with that line there. So if you line those two pieces up, even though your acetate is not going to come to the edge here, 
because you've lined those two pieces up here, <laughs> it's going to match. So, did, do we get that? You. Yeah, I'll get you. So, that piece there, line up with that piece there. Excellent. Let's see how that goes in practice. Do I, shall I wish you good luck now? Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to need it. Oh, I can't even get mine off. There we go. So, I've got this piece here, which is obviously the, the tab bit at the edge. And that's what's going to be lined up with this piece. So when I put it on, my two bridges, I'm going to do it this way because I'm left-handed. Um, yeah, I've got a bit of a bow in the middle of my acetate. I feel like it's dipping for some reason. Um, I don't know why. I think it needs to be a bit, front of, a bit, of, a bit of a burnish. Yeah. It's just, yeah, once you get it on there, give it a bit of a, a squeeze in and out as to where you want it. So as you can see, mine's gone on. Let me put it that way so you can see where it's gone. So that bit lined up with that bit perfectly. So we're going to turn it round and do it again on the other side. If I can get it off. Oh, that's there stuck now, so that's where it's going. <laughs> <laughs> where it lands, it sticks. That's it. That's it. That's my motto. I think with red liner tape, definitely. Yeah, um, I mean, once, once it's, it's on, down. it's on, isn't it? That's it. You're not. It's not going. It's not coming back off. So that's my front piece. And now, because we can see all the acetate, and what really I should have done is we should, put a, should have put the acetate on before we mat and layered this. But it's not a problem, because all we're going to do is we're going to cut another piece of pattern paper just to cover that up. So whichever pattern paper you want, I mean, I've still got a piece of... Do I have a spare bit? ...this offcut. Is that your little piece for your front bit? Is that, so, where's, that's where's gonna, that going? Yeah, because that's going to go on the front of the acetate in a minute. Oh, okay, perfect. I thought I had an extra piece. So, so bring in um, any, any piece of paper you want, but this is the offcut from my last piece, so this is what I'm going to bring in. So we're going to bring that in. And because my edges are one and a half inches wide, um, and then we're matte and layered, so we're going to cut at one and two eighths of an inch and then I need another piece and then my card is so I'll do this first so two pieces at um, one and two um, eighths so again before you carry on just make sure that you're happy with the width of it and I'm happy with that that's exactly what I want because I can still see a bit of my um, green underneath so we're going to cut it to the height of the card. So the height is eight, and because I've got my mat and layers, so we're going to go at seven and six eighths. And again, if you're not sure on how long you want it, just cut it down that little bit, lay it up against your card, and if you're happy with that, then go for it. But what I think I'm going to do, because I've got my bridge going all the way across, I'm going to cut mine down a little bit more. So I'm going to cut it down to there. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to put, where's my pencil? I'm just going to put a little pencil mark exactly where I want it to end, which is there. And then I'm going to put it in my guillotine, because I've got my pencil mark, I know exactly where um, to put it so I cut it exactly with the blade and then again so just bring it in and lay it on there now I'm really happy with that because I can still see all of my bridge across so that's what I'm going to do in mine so let's measure that so that has gone to five and seven eighths so we'll bring this in to our guillotine and measure it and cut it should I say, to five and seven eighths. So again, before I glue it down, I'm just going to check that that's exactly where I want it. And actually, I think that's just 
this tiniest slither difference. So there we go. So because I'm going on to that, to the acetate, either use um, red liner tape or your tape pen. It's entirely up to you. You see, this is where I always say you need all of our glues in your stash because each glue has a job, has a purpose. And they all work perfectly for that job that they're made for. So let's just get that on there. So actually, I'm not happy. That's just a little bit too wide for me. So I'm going to bring my scissors in. You could put it back on your guillotine. It doesn't matter that it's got a bit of glue on. It will still slide under. And then... I've been, I'm enjoying it. I'm not sure it's going to be my neatest ever project, but... Well, the thing is, even if it's not, you've still learnt lots of yeah. fab stuff today. So that's what we've got so far. And then this is when we're going to bring this piece in. And we're going to stick that on the front. So again, mine's a bit uneven at the edges. I've still got that stuck on. So I'm just neatening my edges up. There we go. So I'm just going to see where that needs to go, make sure that it's the right size, and then I'm going to use red liner tape. So let's couple of pieces of this on there and then before I stick this piece down so I've got my red liner on there as it is before I stick it down I need to decide so a few of these pieces here I need to decide so these sprigs if I want them to be coming from behind there or if I want to glue that down and put my sentiment on and have them coming from behind the sentiments so they'd be on there. But I think I'm going to put them behind my sentiments. So um, I'm going to tape this down. But again, always before you commit to taping things down or gluing them down, just place things where you think you might want them. And if you do, then that's it, Fab. Go in and commit. If not, you don't have to feel like, oh, you've glued it down. I need to pull things off. So that's that for now. So I'm going to put this butterfly with the vellum on the front. Now this is where you, I haven't got no gems with me at the minute, um, but this is where, in fact I might have, oh I don't think I do. Um, I'm going to put that there on the front. And then this piece of acetate that we've got going across the middle there, that is where I'm going to suspend a couple of my dragonflies from. So again, I'm going to hold my dragonfly in there, position it where I think I want it, and then only put a bit of tape on the bit that is going to go on um, the acetate. So for me, it's just those top two wings. So I'm just going to hold it in there, place it on my acetate, and there you go, there I've got one of my... Uh, dragonflies and then again I'm going to put the other one but again before I glue it I'm going to see where I want it how much of the actual thing that I need to taper up and then commit so I'm going to have that facing that way so there we go so there's my um, dragonflies in the middle that on my lovely butterfly on the front and now I'm just going to we're going to stamp out a sentiment. So what, what, whichever sentiment that you decided on. Um, I'm, just I'm not, I'm not feeling away. very sentimental today. I don't think no. I need a sentiment. <laughs> not feeling so sentimental. So, oh, no. So anyway, I am wishing you a great birthday is the one that um, I've got. So we're just going to bring... Um, so whichever, if you've got your stamping platform or if you've just got one of our smaller platforms or if you've got the rocker block... Whichever is your choice um, to use. I love this because I can line this up exactly where I want it to go and then pick it up with my platform. And know if I stamp in again and again, 
it's going to be in exactly the place that I want it. I mean, I go on about this all the time. This is absolutely my number one because it's made stamping enjoyable for me. And I didn't like stamping before at all. Um, but it's the right tools for the right job. It makes it easy and makes it fun again, doesn't it? There you go. Wishing you a great birthday. And I only needed to stamp once, but if I didn't, I'd have just gone back in and known it's exactly where I want it to be. So all I do when I stamp a sentiment out is I cut around the actual stem sentiment. I don't necessarily measure how big or small it should be. Um, so I'm going to cut that down. Let me do it that way. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a piece of just my scrap card. And what, I'm, I, what I do is, because I haven't measured it, I'm just going to put it on, to glue it onto this piece of card, making sure that the board around it is correct. And then I will go in with my, my guillotine and I will line it up and I will cut it down that way. And then that way it's a nice bespoke sentiment cut to exactly how I want it rather than trying to fit a sentiment onto a particular size um, piece of um, card. So I'm going to put that onto some um, foam pads because I haven't used any yet and I'm having a little bit of like withdrawals from it. So Are you? <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's bring in some foam pads. And again, before I take the backs off of these, I'm going to bring in some of my little sprigs because I want some of them to go behind this sentiment. So I'm going, in fact, what I'm going to do is just in between them, so just in between my foam pads, I'm just going to put so either a little bit of wet glue or this because I want to just stick that in there. So I'm sticking it on the back, but then it's exactly where I want it to be. And then again with this one, so I'm just going to stick that one on that foam pad. And if you feel like you've covered up too much of your foam pad, then just go in over the top with a little bit of wet glue, um, which is something that I tend to do anyway because if you want to have that bit of extra wiggle room and you don't feel like you get it with your foam pad just put a bit of wet glue on there and then you've got that time to uh, wiggle it into place if you need to so there we go and then on the front um i think i'm going to put a couple of my butterflies on the edges so Let's bob that butterfly on there and we will put these two on the other side. So just bending my wings up a little and dotty. And then what I did to on the other one, but I don't, I haven't got no gems. Um, oh, the green ones will work. So I'm just going to make a little trail for my butterfly. A little butterfly trail. A bu butterfly trail. So I'm going to get that one there. Let me put that back down. Let me try again. So that one's going to go there. And I'm just going to just reach under and press it down. And then, so with the smaller ones, I'm just going to put those on and make my little trail. make sure that you get the ones with the sticky on you know when you take them off and the backing comes off and you've got no sticky there oh we don't want that no we don't want that so i might get a bit carried away with this and end up with a huge trail that goes all around my card but um no last one oh, that one's got oh these are all losing the stickiness oh no uh, don't forget so another great show coming up for you today here on Crafters TV as well. Myself and Michelle back in just over two hours' time.
Second Chance Sunday, uh, loads on that show. Uh, the verses are back as well, back in stock and on the sold out. We have managed to get a small amount of stock for you, so make sure you are securing that. Uh, that will be coming out on myself and Michelle, 7 p.m. here in the UK, 2 p.m. on the East Coast, 11 a.m. for you West Coasters. So, um, so that's me done. Uh, any luck, that's you done as well. Oh, so yeah, you can see I was my little not being as sentimental trail. as you. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, mine's done. Oh, do you know, I love I'm it. Quite happy with it. I love that. Yeah. That looks great. I mean, great. it doesn't look too bad. No. It doesn't need a sentiment. <laughs> I can just keep it in my stash for whenever I need it. You know, whenever I need well, a card it. to fall back on. Um, so and then I'll put the sentiment on. Maybe this can be your Christmas card, Charlotte. <laughs> All right, to Charlotte. Why are you so obsessed with me? Love from Joe on the back. Uh, right, remember, if you want to go for the outline dies, absolutely you can. They are in stock now, uh, ready for you. You can come back and watch this craft along by any time you want, don't forget. So you've got uh, the pretty posies, which are this one's just here. You've also got the fabulous florals. This one here is your blooming botanicals, your simple sprigs there. Uh, you've also got the magnificent butterflies and also the dainty dragonflies are in there as well. Uh, as a platinum member, 27.99 or 38.36, you do get the black cardstock included in there as well, which is fantastic. Let me remind you of some of the other stuff that's been very busy in the show as well. Um, the buddy bags, firstly. Uh, Barbara's this one just here, the Barbara buddy, buddy bag, two interior trays, uh, 499, 799 if you want to get your hands on that. We've also got a little bit of Monica. Uh, this one's five ninety nine <laughs> or seven ninety nine. We also have Irene as well. Uh, that's five ninety nine, seven ninety nine for that one. And then finally Stephanie as well with four different compartments, uh, nine ninety nine wherever you're shopping. And then Kirsten was that big one that is great for things like your finished projects as well, which is fantastic. Uh, we also have the twelve by twelve paper handler uh, available for you as well. Uh, as you can see there, six ninety nine or $8.99. Don't forget as well, as our last day, uh, the 12th day of Craftmas, uh, we have a fantastic promotion for you as well. Make sure uh, if you're spending £50 uh, or dollars, you will receive £10 or dollars off, which is great. Just use the code Craftmas10, uh, which is brilliant. And then once you've used that code today, you can then use another code, Craftmas Jan in January, throughout the month of January, and that will give you £10 or dollars off a £50 or dollar spend. So uh, if you're buying something today, make sure you're keeping that code and using it in January, because you will then be able to get discounts from your orders throughout January as well, which I think is rather, rather splendid. Um, don't forget, if you've been crafting along with us, please send pictures into a studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk, uh, and we'll show them in that Second Chance Sunday show a little later with myself and Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. It was an absolute pleasure. Oh, thank you. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I, uh, I enjoyed pretty... seeing your fabulous creation. Oh, you didn't enjoy seeing me doing that die cutting and uh, fussy <laughs> cutting, though. It wasn't. I mean, I had a, got a bit of a sweat on at one point during that. I won't lie to you. Right, we're going to go and uh, have some dinner, have a bit of a natter, have a cup of tea, <gasps> maybe a second helping of cookie pie. Yes, please. Uh, and we'll see you, lovely lot, back here in two hours' time. Take care.